welcome to the Critical Clueless and today we are in Wasteland 3 back in character customizations and we are looking at an optimal sniper build. Now for background I have picked Goat Killer, of course Bookworm is also a viable choice. Uh, there are other ones that, uh, that work as well but I like the extra crit. Uh, appearance doesn't matter, starting weapon sniper. I will try and show you um, an early build, which I believe is 14 points. Obviously, uh, we have points stuck into it already. Can't lower anything uh, less than a one. Everything has to start with one. Coordination should probably be a four. Strength for two, I think you can even run late game with just two strength don't need a lot of health on this guy he doesn't really get hit he's at the back of the pack anyway um <clears throat> so yeah i think you can get away with that quite good charisma as well um for me I don't really use it speed again he's not a mover so i don't put points there either um intelligence however i do like you do get a crit chance uh anything to do with that sort of thing is always worth investing in uh, again with sniper rifles awareness is absolutely great and um also luck is really really good too um, these things just help you shoot a little bit better um if you're gonna want him to have say two shots it has to go up to 10 he's a sniper rifle you need max coordination for a two shot on that um, strength again just leave where it is awareness and luck i would kind of just put my points between the two after that depending on which one you think works better for me i go more awareness as i like to have those guarantees on my long range hits as well um, but if you want to go more luck then you can definitely go that way this is kind of like a mid tier I'm, about, I'm around midway through my game personally um, obviously you know if you make it to end game the next 10 levels for instance I would pump into awareness and luck maybe a little bit more in intelligence um, but I think awareness is probably the way to go on this character again if you think it's got a little bit you know not enough health then you could always put a couple of points into health um it's not a bad way to go obviously with this character i normally try and find a little bit of health elsewhere obviously get him the best possible armor that he can possibly wear i think i think that's really the way to go here but of course 10 points in coordination is an absolute must with a good sniper if you're wanting them to take the two shots if not maybe pair him with a pistol that way he gets one shot on um one shot in his sniper rifle and one shot on the pistol uh, quirks there are a few good ones to go i quite like a uh, bop bag here it gives you the added armor of course this character doesn't have that that health that all your other characters have and so for that reason that's why it's really really good a uh, death wish really could be a way to go i don't feel confident enough to do it as you're not allowed to wear any armor in a game and there is some really really awesome armor in this game uh, lone wolf again that isn't for me medical marvel not on this character however i do like it a lot mine now this is the one that i love the most so basically it gives you extra uh, detection time it means that you have that chance of getting that first hit and that is what is so so important remember this actually takes 10 whole points off your very low health pool in the first place uh, but for me this is the quirk that i actually run with on my sniper and it works really really well point dexter is okay pretty much it helps with the um helps with the uh, intelligence How, however this actually gives you the skill point every two levels uh, it's what you thought the other one would be uh, what's well, what you thought intelligence was um, but mime for me that really is the way to go 
Okay, so your skills. Obviously, if you're going to be doing a sniper rifle, that's where you want to you want to be. I always put one point into uh, first aid and to animal whisperer, but you're going to want at least seven points into uh, sniper rifles. Obviously, if you've got the points to max it, then do that. Try and remember not to max anything in this game though as you can find skill books really well i guess not really easily but there are skill books for every single skill in the game um but to pair with this and obviously to go with the mime i would go with sneaky shit and i would put as many points into sneaky shit as you're willing to to, to go um i really feel like a stealth character especially with the amount of of uh, fights in this game it's really really be beneficial um if you can get that first hit on them it's just amazing if you max sneaky shit uh, you get a perk called lights out and that gives you 200 plus damage to the first hit of the game which is absolutely incredible not to mention the um the actual point itself gives you up to a hundred percent sneaky attack damage which is obviously really really good so finally we will have a quick look at perks now uh, non-skill perks i think because of what we've done on this character healthy for an extra 35 health is an absolute must and i think hardened for that extra two points onto armor again is a must anything that we can do to help him live longer considering his health is a good idea uh, when it comes to the sniper rifle skill line uh, masterful precision which is level five and concentration which is level seven is really really good um they're just really great sniper shots um they're good perks to have um i also save one perk uh, for sneaky shit because I will max that up to 10. Um, it's definitely worth having. Um, that 200% sneak attack damage is insane. Lights out, you really should get the first kill in the game. Um, which is a nice way to start any battle. And that's pretty much it. That's my sniper build. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope it helped. If it has, don't forget to like the video, maybe subscribe and comment and tell me your thoughts on your builds and what maybe you'd do different. Anyway, I will catch you in the next video, guys.